A rich part of the Silvis community history returns home today. One of the city's fire engines first bought in 1939 is now back in the city. And a restoration project is getting started too. For Local 4's Victoria Frazier has more for us from Silvis. Makes your heart flutter a little bit. Yeah, it was a good truck to drive. And I lived close enough to the fire department, sometimes I could be the first one there and drive it to the fire. Retired firefighter Paul Jones Jr. shares his emotions behind the return home of engine number 1640. Jones drove the truck throughout his years in the Silvis Fire Department before retiring in 1978. Silvis Fire Chief John Winter says about two years ago, he was contacted by a man named Larry Zodi, who believed he had a former Silvis Fire truck in his collection. After doing research on the engine and its parts, the work to return the truck back to the city began. When John told me they found it, I thought, that's great, that's great. After hearing the truck was found, Jones was one of the first to donate to the restoration project. Fire Chief Winter says to be able to host an event to share just a tad of the city's rich history alongside former Silvis firefighters that experienced the engine in its prime is special. It, it's a neat experience. There's a long history and tradition in the fire, de fire department and the fire service. And to be able to bring a piece of history like this back to Silvis that has been such a vital part of the city and of the fire department is just phenomenal. The truck was shipped to Silvis on September 28, 1939. In an effort to do a complete rebuild of the truck, donations for the restoration project open today. And we are going to be raising funds to restore the engine back to as like new as possible. Uh, we will not be using any city taxpayers' funds. Um, it will all become through donations and gifts from businesses and residents and uh, anybody that wants to contribute. While many are eager to see engine number 1640's complete makeover, it will be a while before she makes her grand debut. On this, periodically, we have to find out exactly what is going to be required to get this uh, girl back operational. So we don't have a time frame yet. It's going to depend upon exactly how much work it takes and how quickly we can raise the funds. Once she is ready, Chief Winters is excited for all to see different shows, uh, different events throughout the city, parades. She will not be operating on any fire. She's just a little too old for that, but she'll be available for, for view and good public image. And Silvix, Victoria Frazier, Local 4 News. We, of course, will keep you updated on how that project goes.